Hey guys, so with the Overwatch season coming to an end, I, uh, I decided to take a little break. I've been grinding on Fortnite, and I've, uh, I've been doing really well, to say the least. I've been winning a lot of games. I really got good at doing uh, solos in, so, like, solo queuing in duos and in squads. I haven't won a solo squad yet, but I've won lots of solo in duos. And I think I could help, I think I could help you guys out a little bit. But, uh... I need you to know that it's a really passive kind of technique that I'm gonna be showing. It's not, it's not as aggressive, it's not as fun, but I know a lot of you guys want your umbrella and this is definitely the easiest way to get your umbrella. So to begin, basically what I do is the bus is going to the flush factory, right? Well, I've got a little spot right above the flush factory that I like to go. This is just this game in particular, okay? I need you to note this. And this technique works depending on where the circle is, like where the storm pushes into. This game is perfect for that. It just happened to work out. So anyways, I go in and I loot this little building. There's two possible chest spawns. I'm gonna be landing on the first possible chest spawn and then there's a second possible chest spawn inside this broken down building. So right here, this is the first one. No chest there, got a little unlucky. That's another thing too when it comes to playing Fortnite, a lot of it is luck. I mean, if you're opening chest after chest and you're getting SMGs and burst rifles, you're gonna have a harder time winning than actually, you know, you open a chest and you get a purple scar or something, you know what I mean? Anyways, so everybody always goes to like the main areas and nobody really goes to these little areas. And the idea behind doing this is now that I have looted that stuff, I'm gonna wait and just lurk because I know that somebody's gonna come out of that flush factory. Assuming that the storm collapses elsewhere, as you can see, the storm just popped up right there. So I know that if anybody is looting the flush factory, they're gonna be going to the storm. So that's basically where I'm going to start. Okay. Now for the rest of the for the rest of this game, it's in-game comms, and I'm gonna cut out like all the boring parts because there is a lot of sitting around. But like I said. This is the way, the easiest way that you guys will get your umbrella. I hope you guys enjoy. Good luck. Right? So I'm just going to sit here for a minute and I'm going to wait and see if somebody's in the flush factory. If I see somebody, then I'm going to be patient. We're going to be the lurker this game. But if I don't see somebody, I'm going in. So basically, the idea behind this is that I landed right here. You can see my marker, right? You have the potential of getting two chests. I only had one in this instance, but I did end up getting some band-aids and I got a gun. All right, well, I seen a guy at the flush factory. That's perfect, that's really good. So while he's looting that entire place, I'm going to sit right here. Now his marker is going to tell him to run right up these, right up this way. That's where he's gonna go. So they're fighting it out over there. Now, this is a really passive strategy, really passive, but you can really benefit from this because the less interaction that you have with other people, the higher the chance of you getting a number one finish, right? The best part about this is that he's going to be doing all the looting over there. We're safe. He's taking the risk. And when he comes up these stairs, I'm going to kill him and take all his stuff. Move on to the next little area. So there he is, hanging out, and he's going to come right up this pathway. And he doesn't know I'm here. He just looted that whole place by himself. He does not know that I'm right here. I'm going to wait for him to get his back turned to me. There we go. I don't think anybody else is in there. Otherwise, he would have fought people in there. But look at the start. I took no risk at the start. No risk whatsoever. I don't know who if this guy killed anybody. I never noticed. But he may have, right? <clears throat> Point is, is I never took any risk. So now, I have a huge advantage going into the next spot. I have... <laughs> I'm sitting good. I'm sitting real good. So the whole point of doing this is being passive, being being a lurker, I guess. I'm showing you how to win. This isn't 
if, if this isn't your playstyle, because like this isn't my type of playstyle at all. This is not how I like to play. I'm a really aggressive player. I'm a really aggressive player, and I enjoy the chaos. But I know a lot of people they they want to win, right? And to me, this is the best way to win. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm sitting on the edge of the circle, up high behind these trees, obviously. But the point of it is that a lot of people like to go to Fatal Fields. I killed the guy that came from the Flesh Factory and I took his stuff. What a lot of people do is they'll, they'll raid a house in here. So say like three or four people landed at Fatal Fields, okay? One of them, at least one of them, is probably going to be more passive, more... They're not going to be as aggressive as a player. So they might loot something in Fatal Fields and then start running. And a lot of the times they'll run a big circle around the outside. So I'm just hanging out and I'm waiting to see if a, if a slow poke comes into the storm last. Now if he's coming in right at the last second, I'm going to catch him off guard. That's kind of the whole point in what we're doing here is you're going to be a lurker and you're going to catch people off guard. So, <clears throat> crawling in, and we are in. Easy game, boys. Easy game. So, like I said, you're being, you want to be passive. You don't want to be caught off guard. Bushes are your friends, by the way. Bushes are your friends. So, this is, this is great. This circle is it's perfect for for what I'm trying to show <clears throat> okay so next what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here so I look at the map and greasy grove another highly populated place I assume that it's already been looted that has obviously been looted but greasy grove definitely had people land right from the get-go so now what I'm going to do, because the circle is over here, I'm going to just take a look over top of Greasy Grove. Circle is going to end there, and that's great. Now, again, all these people down here from this area, from the Fatal Fields, Salty Springs, even the Bus Depot, they could do a big circle, and they're going to want to come up to where I am. They're going to come up in this area or they're gonna come up over in this area this side of the map isn't gonna have as many people in it people tend to go towards the big names so I'm expecting to see people show up to Greasy Grove <clears throat> and again this is kind of a boring way to play but you're trying to get your umbrella right like you're trying to get your your first win so this is what this is this is kind of what you have to do if you're not a super talented player. A lot of people can't aim, a lot of people, you know what I mean? Like there's some there's some really strong players in this game. They can aim, they can shoot. And a lot of it is luck of the draw when it comes to opening chests and finding weapons and a lot of it is luck of the draw. But a lot of it is doing what I'm doing right now, game sense and just being smart. It doesn't matter what kind of weapon these people have because I'm gonna catch them off guard, right? The storm's coming in. Oh, that's gonna be that sounded really close actually. I might actually uh, make a move for that. There's one over there, but I'm pretty sure one was really close to me. It sounded like it at least. Now I would leave and go on top of this hill and take a look behind to see if it's behind this tree anywhere. I would go do that, but the problem with that is that all these people coming in from this area, even on this area, if they're coming through this hill on this side, around F or 4C in this corner, they're probably going to see me up here. So if I just wait, I might see the balloon coming down. It would be nice to find that though. Sometimes you get really lucky and a balloon will land really close to you. Those supply drops here, super helpful. Okay now, okay, now this is kind of where a problem could arise. So I'm forced to get off of my mountain and go into the circle. So anybody 
that's in this area, or even waiting in Greasy Grove, are going to see me come in. So you gotta do it smart. You gotta almost play the storm, if that makes sense. I, I'll, I'll try to I'll try to explain. I'm not really good at explaining, but I'll do my best to explain. So, what I'm gonna want to do, assuming that there's going to be somebody up on this mountain. People tend to go to the high ground and in the bushes, especially when there's no buildings over here. The only buildings, oh, that worked out in my favor. And I'm going to drop that, the grenades. The reason I dropped the grenades for the, uh, for the med kit was because I have a rocket launcher. I'd rather have a rocket launcher than the grenades. So I got really lucky. I got the gold scar. I would take that scoped AR, but I think I'm happy with the, with the gold scar. So I'm still gonna wait. We got, I, I would leave with about 10 seconds left. Because I'm so close to the edge, these other people are going to start walking in before me. So the goal behind it is that I'm going to be walking behind them. If anybody's near me, I'm going to be behind them. That's the thought behind it. So, it is time to move. Now, this storm moves really, really slow on this one. So, we have lots of time. Now, there could be somebody in that house... But nobody's going to be in these Greasy Groves house because it's not in the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here because this hill is going to block me from anybody in that house. I just saw those people building over there. So I'm going to remember that there is definitely people to the northeast. One for sure. I'm going to stay down on this low side and play passive aggressive again. If I need to build something, I'll build it and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so now what I'm going to want to do is play the outside. Play the outside as much as I can. I'm going to use these trees to hide behind. Because they're so close to the edge of the storm, People aren't going to look over here. There's really nothing over here to look at. <clears throat> so this is a great spot. Safe from the storm. Right along the edge. And again, the circle is in my favor. That's perfect. Now, typically what you would want to do is go on top of that hill. But again, I know that there's at least one person to the northeast. And there's eight other people alive right now. I don't know where they could be, but you're playing passive aggressive because you want to catch people off guard. You gotta to play to your advantage when you're not when you can't aim as well and you can't shoot, you gotta play passive aggressive. So I just noticed that there's that balloon down there. That balloon is good and I know that there's people building right there at 30. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it this time. I'm gonna climb up this hill. And I'm going to look down on top of that fort right there. And I'm going to look at the balloon. Somebody's going to risk it and get that balloon. Now i got to be really careful going up here. Because there could be people already up. So you want to take your time. And you want to keep your eyeballs open. Okay. So somebody is definitely up here. Now I can do two things here. What I can do is I can be aggressive and get inside that, that little hut that that guy built. Or I can be cautious, wait for him to make a mistake, 
problem is is that I'm in the middle of the circle now. I'm not on the edge. So people could come at me from any direction right now. And that's not what I want. So I'm going to wait for a second. I'm going to... Okay. Now this is a problem. That guy is super weak. Take the shotgun out. And end him. Now I'm getting sniped at from the northeast. This is kind of scary. And I'm pretty sure that there's somebody in that little hut. I'm just going to take that. I'm going to chill for a minute. See if I can bait this guy out. Just in case. Because I don't know if he's in there or not. I haven't seen or heard anybody go in there. I hear another person. See what I mean about being nervous about being in the middle? This is a problem. Being in the middle is not good. Now what I could be doing is building. I could build a fort. Now, let me explain the problem with that. So right now, I think that somebody's in that, that brick fortress. That little brick building, I think somebody's in there. But, what a smart... See, he thought, he thought somebody was in that brick, just as I was just about to explain it. Whenever people see a building like that, they instantly assume that somebody is inside that building. The best thing for a person to do is to not actually stand in the building that they've made. That is the best thing that you could do. Because people's attention is going to be on the building. They're not going to be on the outside of the building. Okay. So I'm sitting real good. I got lucky. I got the gold scar. Okay. There's only two people left. That guy just got killed at about 75, in between 75 and 105. That means there's one person over there, down low, and there's gonna be one person in that massive building that he just fucking built. This is the sweet thing though, is he doesn't know that I have this rocket launcher. The reason that I haven't destroyed it yet is because I want those two players to fight each other. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna concern myself with fighting these guys yet. I just wanna pick apart the last guy. And that guy wants to pick apart me. Now where... Oh. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to run down this side of the building, or the, the hill, because now he can't see me, right? He can't see me. I'm hoping that the other guy is going to see him up there and try to get a little cheeky kill. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good. Now I have to, now I have to play. Now I have to play. And that was successful. So now that there's only one person left, now it's time to build a little bit. Okay, now, if I was this guy, if I was this guy, I would be hiding underneath that dude's fortress. That's what I would be doing. I wouldn't be inside anything, I would be hiding underneath his, or I would be in that one bush. So I'm going to use my rockets to try to bait him out. Then shoot. Nothing. I'm gonna take that. Thing down. So if he's not hiding underneath there, he's gotta be either there, or he could be in this bush. Right there. Perfect. One last rocket, blow that thing off. Easy peasy. Nothing to it guys, play passive 
only be aggressive if you need to and play smart play the maps think about your surroundings and where other people will be and you can have easy wins guys easy wins like I said everybody plays different though so this playstyle might not be for you it is a game right so you want to play for fun but uh, if you're going for a quick win that's how it's done right there guys I hope you guys enjoyed and good luck on your games